This is an amazing graphics tablet on a budget coming at only in this video we're gonna check out the XP Pen Deco Pro graphics tablet which is my first graphics tablet not sponsored by XP Pen by the way. If I say something wrong then please correct me in the comment section down below. This graphics tablet is not really new. I bought it quite a while ago but I haven't been able to make a video on it until now. For those of you who don't know, graphics tablets are not actually tablets but instead they require to be connected to a PC, laptop, Android or any other device in order to be used. But why do you even need a graphics tablet I hear you ask? Well, when creating digital art, 2D or 3D, it's very difficult to only work with the mouse. With a graphics tablet, which is also called a drawing tablet, you can bring back the pencil and paper experience in the digital world. But it's not only created for 2D artists, but also 3D artists like me. You can easily sculpt natural shapes and forms. One of the major benefits of using a graphics tablet is pen pressure. When using it, you can put less pressure on the tablet and the stroke will be lighter. When you put more pressure, the stroke will be heavier. Besides sculpting, it's also very useful for texture painting. Here are a few sculpts I made with this tablet and I'm really enjoying it. Okay, enough introduction, now let's talk about this graphics tablet. Note that this is not a display tablet, meaning there's no screen on it. The ones that have a screen cost a lot more. But as you might think, it's not actually difficult to work on a graphics tablet that doesn't have a screen. It'll just take some time to get the hang of it, but it's not actually that difficult. This drawing tablet comes in two sizes, small and medium. I have the medium one and it costs around 10,500 rupees or $129 if you are in the US. However, the smaller one costs around 7,500 rupees. Now the fun part. Let's have a look at what is inside the box. First, we have the tablet itself. Then we have a cylindrical case that has the pen inside. On the other side of the pen case, we have got 8 extra nibs which you can replace when the nib wears out over time. The case's cap can also act as a holder for the pen. We also have a glove that only supports the two fingers of our hand. A USB cable to connect the tablet, warranty cards and some documentations which you can throw away cause we don't really need them. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't throw them away. I'll show you later how you can set up the graphics tablet up and running. We have also got a USB to type C and a USB to micro USB adapter for connecting to Android devices. We'll get more into that later in this video. We don't get a stand for the tablet considering it's already very cheap. So I bought this stand by Huion which cost me around 3000 rupees but it's really nice and high quality. Here's what the medium sized tablet looks on my table and it's quite big. Though the size of the tablet is 15.7 inches by 8.9 inches, the active area on which you can actually draw is 11 by 6 inches. The graphics tablet is really sturdy and feels very premium. The pressure level of the pen is 8192 levels. The more the pressure level, the better. It supports 60 degrees of field and the pen is battery free so you don't even need to charge it and it works without even connecting to wire. The tablet has 8 shortcut keys and are highly customizable. I really like the fact that you can set multiple commands for the same button in different softwares. For example, you can set this button to undo in Blender while you can set the same button to save a file in another software. We also have a nice wheel in the middle which actually has two parts. The outer silver part, we can set that to zoom in and out and the middle black part is actually a trackpad that we can set for changing the brush size for example. The wheel also glows when it's connected and looks very nice. The setup is very simple and straightforward. First, make sure that no applications are open and the PC is connected to the internet. Then connect the graphics tablet to the PC. <sighs> then go to the website xppen.com forward slash download forward slash index. I put the links down in the description box below. Then search for your graphics tablet, then download and install the driver. After installing the driver, you can customize all the shortcut keys to your liking. If you want to set different commands for each software, you can click on this plus icon, then navigate to the directory of the software. In my case, I'm adding Blender. Then I've set this button on the pen to middle click. So that you can rotate around the view by holding the button and moving around the pen. 
and I've set this button for right click. Now let's open a blender and create a new sculpting scene. Make sure that this pen pressure icon is checked for the strength value. Then we can put less pressure for a lighter stroke and we can put more pressure for a heavier stroke. We can also enable pen pressure for the radius so that the size of the brush will get smaller and bigger depending upon how much pressure we put. As I talked about earlier, you can also use this tablet on Android devices. All you need to do is connect the USB cable to the adapter into your phone, then you can just start drawing without even needing to install any drivers. But there's a caveat, all of these extra shortcut keys won't work on Android devices. So if you want to get this drawing tablet for just mobile devices, then do not buy it because there are a lot of cheaper options available for mobile devices. So if you are looking to buy a high quality budget graphics tablet that works both on PC and Android devices, then this might be just for you. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and do let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to watch more review videos. And make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos and tutorials. If you like this video, then you'll definitely like this one. I'll be back.